Hello, my name is Diego Samara Blanco, and today we're going to go on our fifth tirade, summarizing the 2010s. The 2010s just ended a couple of months ago, and with the power of absolutely no hindsight, I'm going to try to explain the 2010s in this short YouTube video. Let's start with the beginning of the decade, with probably the most influential thing that happened in the whole decade, the Arab Spring in December of 2010. At 20, um, started the revolution of Tunisia, which ended up with the revolution of many Arab countries, including Libya, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and and, and Syria was already in a bad state, and with the Arab Spring, it got worse. So then many people wanted to immigrate from Syria to other places. They defund the, the European Union to move. Now that led to the to the immigration problem in like 2015, in the midst of 2010s. So many places want to leave the, the EU because of that. So that's where United Kingdom decides to leave, make causing their Brexit. And Scotland was like, no, I don't want to leave the United Kingdom, um, the European Union. So it started an, a bigger, an even bigger independence movement just because of a revolution in in Tunisia. So something that I had, that I've been noticing throughout the 2010s is that people are starting to get a bit more extremist and polarized. Case in point, Don the 2016 United States election, choosing Donald Trump. Why? Because he's an extremist and he's racist. B basically, he's trying to build a wall in Mexico, which I hope he does not succeed in that. Because he's all, and he's also trying to take out immigrants, even though the United States is a country built by immigrants. So now, let's talk about what you're using to watch this video on. The internet. The internet in the 2010s has basically become a necessity. Um, how do you get interviews? Through the internet. Can you work, um, where can you work? In the internet. What do you use for entertainment? The internet. You, um, so basically, I found that in the 2010s, the internet is basically a necessity. So, this is all worldwide news, but most of my audience lives in Puerto Rico. So how about Puerto, so how about Puerto Rican news in the last 10 years? Well, number one, Hurricane Maria. In Hurricane Maria, we were without light and with helpless help from the government. But we still had many Puerto Ricans from other, from other parts of the world, like many people from the United States, giving us help. Another very important thing that happened in the last 10 years in Puerto Rico is the quick, um, Riquiro Sello quitting. In that place, every Puerto, basically almost every Puerto Rican united to try to make this guy quit. And we succeeded. These are the things in 2010s that mostly impacted me. Now I want to know what, what things in 2010s would, would, that impacted you. Comment it down below and please subscribe. Goodbye.